Israeli officials are expressing grave concern over remarks by the Palestinian Authority's top Muslim cleric, Sheikh Mohammed Hussein. He's the Mufti of Jerusalem. At a recent political gathering for the PA's Fatah party, Sheikh Hussein recited a religious text that described Muslims being called on to kill Jews in an end of day struggle. The resurrection, he told the crowd, will not come until you fight the Jews. Now, Israeli officials learned about the speech because it was broadcast on Palestinian state television and picked up by a media watchdog group. Prime Minister Netanyahu called the speech heinous and chilling and said the world is all too eager to speak up when a new house goes up in Gilo, a remote, but not many people are speaking up when the Palestinian mufti calls for Jews to be killed simply because they're Jews. Now, we talked to Foreign Ministry spokesman Lior Ben Dor. Take a listen to what he had to say. When such a declaration is advanced in the Palestinian Authority and broadcast on Palestinian television, well, it raises a serious question as to the readiness of the Palestinian people and their leaders to live in peace with Israel, the Jewish state. Sheikh Hussein told several major news outlets that he did not call for the killing of Jews. He said he was not responsible for the content of the hadith or the saying which is attributed to the Prophet Muhammad. It refers, he insisted, to the end of time and not to today. But the tape shows Sheikh Hussein introduced the hadith in the context of the 47 years of the Palestinian, quote, revolution, a reference to the current political struggle with Israel. The PA's Minister of Religious Affairs defended the Sheikh, saying no one can change historical writings. He later added that the PA wants a peaceful solution to the conflict with Israel, two states for two people. But the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and his top advisors have not condemned the Mufti speech. They haven't said anything. Although they can claim that it's uh, no more than a religious text, we expect the Palestinian leadership to clarify their position on this declaration, very pro problematic declaration. We tried to talk to ordinary Palestinians about this story here at the Damascus Gate and further inside East Jerusalem, but no one would talk to us on camera. Some said they simply hadn't heard about the Mufti's remarks, but many others said the topic was just too sensitive to publicly discuss. One man said to me, this is not America, I can't freely talk. As for Sheikh Hussein, he may be facing criminal charges. Israel's attorney general has asked the police to open an investigation against the Mufti for charges of incitement to violence and racism. Jordana Miller, JN1, East Jerusalem.